Pastor, this the place? Uh-huh. It is. Okay. Uh, Pastor, what do you plan on doing? I'm just going to make a little home visit and see if we can catch our kissy face deacon kissy facing. I, I don't know about this. Deacon, you actually think you're going to stop Pastor Lynn from doing anything once she gets her mind set on it? I don't think so. Gentlemen, let the games begin. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? The door's this way. Yep, and I'm heading this way. Oh, dear God, I pray she does not take that collar off. I'd like to glue it on her. Oh, shit. <sighs> Pastor, this is really not a good idea. You know this is called trespassing. Maybe she wants a jailhouse ministry. <laughs> you know what? There's an easier way to do this. Shush, shush. It's just what I thought. Dick, get up here and take a peek. I'm no peeping, Tom. I'm not peeking through anybody's window. Tell him we're about to make the decision on that head deaconship. Get up here. I know I'm going to regret this. Is that his wife? If it was his wife, we wouldn't be here. Well, why didn't you just tell me that? Well, basically because I so love to see you squirm. <laughs> He's going to have a hard time explaining this. You think? Mm-hmm. Pastor, your turn. I don't know about this. And wow, I am beholding strike three. And he's out. All right, let's go take care of this. What are we going to do tonight? Oh, you know, I mean, you know, if we figure something out, you know, that won't be any big deal. <laughs> we can get anything done here. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh go, go hide, go hide. Uh, just let's go in the bathroom over Someone's coming up the wall. Fox or rocks, thinks we can't hear him. Pastors, is uh, everything okay? I wasn't expecting y'all today. No, oh, everything's fine, man. We were just in the neighborhood. Thought we'd stop by and finish our little conversation. Well, besides that, it's possible I might have to ask you to forgive me because maybe I've judged you prematurely. Oh, how so? Didn't you just see what we saw in the bushes? May we come in? Well, I, uh... Thank oh. you. Okay. Okay. Well, I certainly hope we haven't interrupted anything here. As Pastor mentioned, we just had some extra time this afternoon. Thought we'd come by for a visit. Okay. Hey, you mind if I use your restroom? A whole lot of coffee and a small bladder. Yeah, sure. It's uh, right over there. Okay. Oh, 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 no, no, uh, um, wait a minute, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the plumbing's messed up in that bathroom, um, you'll have to use the one in my bedroom. Okay. It's, it's right, right around the corner there. All right, thank you. You had anybody look at that plumbing? Um, yeah, uh, well, th they're coming to look at it tomorrow. Deacon Hall. Yeah. Doesn't Deacon Ragnaluk just down the road? Yeah, he sure does. If I recall, doesn't he know something about plumbing? Yeah, he did the plumbing and wiring in this whole house. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Give me your phone. Where's your phone? You quit crapping. Oh. We're going to have him down here in less than 10 minutes, and we're going to get your plumbing fixed for you. Uh, no, 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 Pastor. That's, that, that's okay. Uh, this, this guy's done work for me before, and he's, he's really good. So is Deacon Raglan, and he's free. <laughs> Why, Deacon Hall, I declare... I do believe you're catching on to the flu with things around here. Well, yeah, you feel better? Not really. See, when I was in the bathroom, I happened to stumble across a few items. And these items here, they really make me wonder. I mean, really make me wonder. 
Well, I'm certainly interested. How about you? You know, as a matter of fact, I think I am. Mm -hmm. uh, Deacon Sam, before I start pulling items out of this bag, do you have anything you'd like to say? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, let the show and tell begin. You know, I'm getting a sick feeling that Pastor McKnight is getting too fond of your kind of shenanigans. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. And my joy overfloweth. Mm. <laughs> All righty, Pastor. Make Mama proud. First item, please. Okay, well, first of all, Dick and Samuel, what size shoe do you wear? I happen to wear a size 12. Why? First item up, a pink size 9 women's tennis shoe. Uh -huh. They're not good. Mm. That is not good. Mm -mm. Nope, definitely not yours. Well, look, not that this is any of y'all's business at all, but sometimes, after Bitsy and I work out, she leaves her shoes over here. I bet you do work out. Right. And you kiss your mama with those lying lips? Let me just tell you something about talking uh, about mama. Ah, listen to me. Listen, next item up. Yes. A bar of Earth Day Laterals soap. <laughs> right next to the bar of Old Spice soap in the same Shower stall. Take a whiff. Ooh, this mm. not good. Smells. Mm-hmm. Like Eau de la Rose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only a woman would use this. Mm-hmm. You really went into my shower? It's right there in front of the toilet. You can't miss it. That was quick thinking. Yeah. Your mama's so proud. Well, I have to admit, I do like her taste in slippers. Really, Pastor, at a time like this, you talking about slippers? Enough of that. Rod, stand up like a man and just tell them. Who cares what they think? They don't own you, and they sure enough don't own me. Well, item number three. Oh, my Lord. Give me that nightgown. This is mine. Strike three, gentlemen. Strike three. Deacon Samuels, whether you like it or not, I am your senior pastor, and I need to fully understand this situation. So my understanding is that you are a leader in this church, Deacon Samuels, and yet I find you to be both a liar and a fornicator. A liar and a what? A fornicator. Huh? It means he been doing with you before marriage what ain't supposed to happen till after. Look, I don't know what y'all getting at, but you can't talk to my man that way. Besides, Rod and I are in love. Oh, really? So, Deacon, when are you two gonna tie the knot? What's the wedding date? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I can marry you two today. Right hey. here, right now. That is an awesome idea. Let's get married, baby. Let's get married right now. Hey, Deacon, you know what? I can be your best man, and Deacon Hall here can be Bitsy's maid of honor. How about it? Man, if you lost your mind. <laughs> nice big pink dress. Pink? Pink? I'm out of here. Oh, sit down. Senior Deacon Hall. So close, and yet so far away. You know, I'm beginning to understand Apostle Paul's thorn in the side. Can we get serious about the issue at hand here, guys? Deacon Samuels, are you prepared to marry this woman or not? Are you, baby? Look, right now is not the time to talk about it. We'll talk about this later, okay? Come on, baby. When is the right time? We need to pick a time and a date, and we need to let the whole church know. Look, I never said we were going to get married, okay? I never used those words. But you made me believe we were. I'm sorry, but I cannot help what you believe. What? You made me believe we were in love. From the bushes, we thought you were in love too. Huh?